Hello there, um, welcome to the BricsCAD BIM basic training. I am Fleur and I will be giving you the second module, which is creating a BIM project. Uh, to create a BIM project is the basics of um, working in BricsCAD BIM. Uh, it's what keeps all our files together is a BIM project. And this BIM project, we will learn how to create it in this exercise. We will learn both how to start from scratch or from existing DWG files. You will also learn how to add some files to your existing BIM project. And as key takeaway from this uh, module, I can already hint you on that, uh, it will be to always, really always, create a BIM project in a separate and dedicated folder on your computer. This is because the BIM project really contains lots of files that are better kept together and are not mixed over different files, uh, such as a database file which, which links uh, all the compositions in your drawings, which links it over the different files of your project. And if you start mixing them, uh, the program will not uh, no longer know which files belong to which project if they are not kept in dedicated one folder. So remember from this module, uh, after you watch this session, uh, please remember that you always start a BIM project in a clean, fresh folder if possible, or you know that all the fi files in that folder which you want to turn into a BIM project really belong to that same project. So let us dive in and uh, we will start, of course, with baking, making a BIM uh, project from scratch. Okay, let's start with creating a BIM project from scratch with no files to begin with, just starting from a fresh drawing. In the Go to Start tab, you can create a new drawing. Then, if you open the BIM project browser panel, which is a little house icon, then it will say save drawing because the drawing isn't saved yet. You can save this drawing in a fresh empty folder on your machine, preferably the one that was delivered with the starter files. And as mentioned in the preface of this module, we really want you to start on a new BIM project in a new uh, folder. So not an existing folder on your machine, but you just make a new and empty folder on your machine. So I will show you how to do that. We will save the drawing. We will make a new folder. And then you can save it into that folder. Alternatively, navigate to the BIM basic and then the folder of this uh, sub uh, module. Now the blue plus button or the blue bl button changed to the create project button instead. This means that now we can start um, and transform the folder in which our drawing was saved into a BIM folder. If you would have happened to have saved the new file into a folder which already contained a dot basis lib file, then it means that you, you save the drawing into another um, BIM project. And then it would say here, add to project instead of create project. So verify that here you have the uh, button create project and not the add to project button. Once we press this button, we will see a few things. So let's return first of all to the um, <coughs> folder which we made on our machine. You can access it to right-clicking and choosing open folder on your newly saved drawing. There you will find the folder on your machine. And there you will also see that um, some things were made. So first of all, your panel should have been changed so that it contains some extra information. And you should also see the name of the folder which you saved the drawing in and which you consequently um, transformed into a BIM project. And then if you um, open the folder, then you would see that here a basis lib file is stored 
And as soon as a base zip file is found inside a folder, BrickSCAD knows that this is a BrickSCAD BIM project. A basis lib file is a database file that stores information such as materials and compositions, steel profiles, custom properties, and the connection with the generated sheets. Using an external database uh, so that this file is um, really externalized and we see that the basis lib is in our folder rather than somewhere hidden inside the uh, DWG itself. So using this external database avoids duplicating materials and allows you to modify a material or composition over the entire project instead of in just one model. We will dive deeper in the materials and compositions later on in this training. But for now, remember that all the project information is stored inside the basis lib file and you can never manually delete or edit this basis lib file. BrickSCAD BIM will always take care of updating the, the database file when you work on your BIM project. So remember, the basis lib is important, don't delete it, but um, it's not something which you should edit manually. Besides the database file, you will also find that some other files and folders were created in your BIM project folder. The templates folder contains a DWT template that will be used to create sheets later on. This is a copy of your overall um, template for sheets and it will be used inside this project as well. You also see a DST file which is used to keep all the sheets together, a .bak file which is the um, backup file uh, along with the DS$ dollar. Um, if you change these extensions into .dwg, then you will have an, a backup drawing which you can use in your project once again. Okay, so now let's um, change and see what happens if we don't uh, start from a new drawing and in an empty folder. So you can, in fact, start from a folder which is um, already a folder on your machine, but which is not a BIM project yet, and you can transform all of the files inside this um, folder into a BIM project folder. For that, we open uh, a drawing uh, from the starter files, the second part of this module, and there we open the master file, And this one will show you two buildings. Um, they are made in separate DWG files, so they are listed as uh, external references or XREFs for short. They were attached through the attachment panel. And, and that's how they end up together in this, um, in this drawing. So they were saved in a relative pod so that it always works for, um, for other people as well. But what is most important now is that here we again have the create project button. This means this folder does not have a basis lib file yet. It's not a BIM project yet. If you click it, the project will be created. And if we now go to the file step, you will see that the, um, all the drawings which are, were already in our folder are still there and one is listed as master model and the others are listed as XREFs. So it's automatically detected that all of these um, DWG files are part of our project. If we want to open one, we just double click it in the Files tab and the uh, DWG will open and your project will remain the same because the project browser um, panel always um, returns to the project attached to a certain file. And here it's the same project that is attached to all these files. Now you notice that I get a, a, a yellow balloon saying that I need to uh, reload the attachments. This is because the external database from both of these files 
that was internal is now pointing towards the same external basis lib that we also see here in the file step. For this, we still need to um, we still need to reload our update uh, our attachments, and then um, if you do that now. Um, <clears throat> the everything is ready to start with your uh, BIM project. In the final section, we will add a drawing to our BIM project from the previous section. Uh, first of all, uh, we, while the drawing is not open, we want to save it into the project folder. The first step is to locate the new drawing which we need into the, um, the basic folder. So we navigate on our machine to the project, which was this one, and we copy um, and paste or um, move this um, shed drawing inside our project. <coughs> This will not uh, really add it to our project yet. It's added, but um, as soon as you refresh the uh, project um, pa browser panel, you will see that there is a new DWG, but the icon says that it's just a DWG not attached to the basis lib of the um, project yet. So we still need to, first of all, make it an XREF so that the, it appears also in this drawing. And uh, secondly, we will need to um, make sure that this um, is really added to the project in terms of its pieces. So that's what we will do now. So make sure your master file is opened. Go to the attachments panel. And here, use the X attach button, the plus button, attach DWG and attach, uh, navigate again, to your folder and attach the correct shed that is located inside your project folder. Uh, you don't want to specify this on screen or you, uh, yeah, you just leave it at 000. You say that there is no pod needed so that it always looks into the folder where it's saved. And you uh, make sure that all of these are checked off and then you press OK. <clears throat> now a little shed should be extra um, into the model. Now this is added as XREF to our master model. Now the basis lip is not connected yet. So we say we double click on the shed in the files explorer and you see that the project is no longer recognized but we have a button add to project. This is um, adding this drawing to the basis lib of our project. And now we also see um, that here the same project is recognized. And um, now uh, the project is ready to take further. So also note that in the next chapters, we will always start from ready-made BIM projects that contain the needed model files to start the exercises. Some of these files won't have any geometry or a limited amount of geometry. So you can really learn how to create BIM models from scratch. The making of BIM models can be done in several ways. And the main thought uh, to take away from the next chapters is that no matter how you obtain the geometry in your DWG drawings, you can use it as starting point to add intelligence and data and take your BIM project and models further. Some possible ways to create geometry are starting from an existing 2D layout, importing 3D geometry, starting from a 3D mass model and sculpting your way, maybe use the structural tool set, use the point cloud tool set, the civil tool set for site models, maybe the Rhino plugin or any other application which you can find in the application store. Okay, so this was the uh, Create BIM project module 
We learned how to create a BIM model either from scratch uh, within a folder already exist, uh, with existing files or how to add a drawing to a BIM project. I hope you enjoyed this video and see you again in the next module.